to the Tonight Show. Guys, before we get started, does anyone here want to be Speaker of the House? Yes. <laughs> yep, as of tonight's taping, it's been three days and nine votes, and we still don't have a Speaker of the House. <laughs> before today's vote, C-SPAN was like, we swear this is not a rerun. <laughs> right now, Kevin McCarthy is so embarrassed, he went up to George Santos and said, help me create a new identity. McCarthy has lost nine times. It is brutal. I mean, there's a reason why you only get three strikes in baseball. I mean, it's just <laughs> hard to watch. Nine, that's a lot. That's somewhere between COVID variants and Yellowstone spinoffs. Nine, <laughs> nine. And get this, I read that some Democrats and Republicans are considering a deal for a speaker uh, both parties can get behind. Ooh. So congratulations to our new Speaker of the House, Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> and like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good movie. <laughs> Meanwhile, McCarthy is now in the negotiation phase where he's making a bunch of concessions with the Republicans who are against him. And one of those concessions is a change to the rules that would make it easier to remove him. <laughs> you know it's bad when the only way you can get hired is if you promise to get fired. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course, with everything going on in Washington, it's been a busy week for news anchors, and I think they need a break. I mean, check out this clip of Andrea Mitchell on MSNBC earlier today. After a night spent offering big concessions to the Never Kevins at the risk of alienating some of his original supporters in the Republican caucus. Excuse me. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and then for the first time in TV history, a news anchor coughed up a hairball. I mean, I've never seen... That's the sound you make when the doctor checks if you have strep throat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the sound your ketchup bottle makes when you try to squeeze out the last drop. That's... The closed captioning just said, you're so lucky you didn't hear that. <laughs> yep, Congress spent a third day voting for a new Speaker of the House, and after so many rounds, I feel bad for the people who have to keep reading all the names of the representatives to get their vote. You know what? Don't feel bad. It's easy. I'm just saying, it's, it's tedious, and some of the names are hard to pronounce. Not when you're a professional announcer like me. <laughs> Go ahead, test me. Okay, I guess I can. I'll test you real quick. And who's this? Okay, easy. Jerry Curl. <laughs> no, <you're right. laughs> okay, who's, who's this? Come on, Barry Manilow. Come on. <laughs> Give me some harder ones. Rapid fire me. Okay, here we go. Who's this? Okay, uh, David Schwimmer. <laughs> Rihanna. <laughs> Lady Macbeth. <laughs> Bad Salmon. <laughs> Chips Ahoy. <laughs> Frank Stallone. <laughs> ah, 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 chew. <laughs> oh, it's Scott Delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> um, ah, na, 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 Nice blunt rotation. Uh, uh, oh, Yank Johnson. <laughs> uh, Menage a Trois in Greece. <laughs> oh, Vicious, vicious Sharts. Oh. And Liar. Oh, my God. What, all right, okay, that's, thank you very much. Steve Higgins, a professional. Steve Higgins, everyone. <laughs> Uh, everyone is weighing in on this today. Uh, Elon Musk tweeted, Kevin McCarthy should be speaker. It makes sense, because Kevin McCarthy is a lot like a Tesla. He was on the road to his destination and then suddenly veered off course. <laughs> Meanwhile, President Biden is staying out of the speaker drama, calling it embarrassing, but saying, quote, that's not my problem. <laughs> then he added, but if it were my problem, I definitely wouldn't be laughing at Kevin McCarthy right now like I am. And I wouldn't be checking the news every five minutes to see if he lost another vote while rubbing my hands like it's dinner time. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have to give my opinion. <laughs> Biden then added, but if I did have to give my opinion, I'd probably say that this is the most fun I've had in my entire presidency. Every morning feels like Christmas and my birthday combined. That said, this is a matter regarding a different branch of government, and I don't have to get involved. <laughs> then he added, but if I did have to get involved, I'd probably throw a parade of sorts, maybe using 15,000 drones to form an image of Kevin McCarthy's face in the sky, and then it'd morph into the crying Jordan meme <laughs> while playing Everybody Hurts at full volume. <laughs> at, which he, at which point Biden just posted, 
the Kermit drinking tea meme. There you go. That's interesting. Well, everybody's talking about this. Uh, in his forthcoming book, Prince Harry claims that Prince William once knocked him to the floor during an argument about Meghan. Apparently, the fight happened at the Buckingham Waffle Palace. <laughs> It's fun when royals fight because they keep their pinkies out. <laughs> Harry was shocked because usually when they fight, they just stand back and tell their butlers what to do. But now, now perhaps a knee to the groin. <laughs> Choke him out, Jeeves. <laughs> Harry also writes in his new book that before he married Meghan, William and Kate were religious viewers of her show Suits. I feel like I believed everything Prince Harry said until just now. <laughs> I don't think even the stars of Suits were religious viewers of Suits. <laughs> well, some movie news. Avatar The Way of Water has officially passed Top Gun Maverick to become the number one movie of 2022. It is a huge, huge hit. It made us wonder, what would other classic movies look like if they took place underwater? Check this out. There you go. That's it. Pretty good. I'd watch that. Well, listen to this. I heard that uh, people on TikTok are claiming that a great way to beat the flu is by sleeping with potato slices in your socks. <laughs> There's a lot of questionable medical advice online, and depending on where you look, you get pretty different answers. For instance, for the flu, TikTok says sleep with potato slices in your socks. Facebook says ask Bill Gates. He owns your DNA, robot. <laughs> WebMD says get your affairs in order. You're going to die. <laughs> Next up for a cold, TikTok says, make NyQuil chicken soup. <laughs> Twitter says, bring an Elon Musk to fire half your germs. <laughs> WebMD says, get your affairs in order. You're going to die. <laughs> and finally, for COVID, TikTok says, swab your nose with a mini microphone. Truth Social says, take a shot of bleach. <laughs> and WebMD says, get your affairs in order. You're going to die. I think just call a real doctor. Guys, I read about a new COVID variant that is some people worried. It's called XBB.1.5. I guess they couldn't think of a catchier name. And it actually inspired me to write a tiny song. There was Alpha, then Delta, then Omicron next. But this latest variant might be. When you're inside a facility, it could be a robot from a Star Wars trilogy. It's XBB.1.5, not OMG or MP3 or TCBY, or an eye chart made by a really high guy. Sounds like the password of your parents' Wi Fi. It's XBB.1.5, XBB.1.5. the most applause I've gotten in five years. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Switching gears, uh, a big consumer electronics show just kicked off in Las Vegas, and there are so many new products on display, including a self-driving stroller that's powered by artificial intelligence. <laughs> the only question is, will it be a billion-dollar lawsuit or a trillion-dollar lawsuit? <laughs> yeah, the commercial says, order one now before we all get arrested. But don't worry, it comes with an override button in case your baby needs to take control of the stroller. <laughs> Another interesting product being unveiled is the high-tech snore silencing pillow. <laughs> Although that's any pillow if you hold it against someone's face long enough. You know what I'm <laughs> A pillow that stops you from snoring, which has got to be the most passive-aggressive gift of all time. <laughs> And finally, a 19-year-old just traveled nearly 2,000 miles from Maine to Florida on a unicycle. And much like his wheel, it's a pretty safe bet that he's single. 
Yeah.